IT'S WEDNESDAY NIGHT. A LOT OF FOLKS GETTING READY TO TRAVEL EITHER TONIGHT OR FIRST THING IN THE MORNING. TRAFFIC MOVING ALONG PRETTY GOOD HERE IN THE FM AREA. AND FOR THE MOST PART, WE DON'T HAVE TOO MANY TRAFFIC WOES. BUT FOR SOME, AS WE HEAD INTO THE HOLIDAY FOR THANKSGIVING, THERE WILL BE SOME TRAVEL TRICKERY. TOMORROW, THE FORECAST LOOKS LIKE 26 DEGREES FOR fargo Moorhead. CAN'T RULE OUT SOME VERY LIGHT SNOW. NO ACCUMULATION HERE, BUT CERTAINLY WE COULD SEE SOME SLIPPERY SPOTS ON AREA ROADS. SO TRAVEL WITH CARE. HERE'S A LOOK AT WHAT'S GOING ON RIGHT NOW. THIS IS BECKER COUNTY, DETROIT LAKES. A FEW SNOWFLAKES SHOWING UP, ESPECIALLY NORTHERN BECKER as we head into the evening. And there's also a little activity south of Interstate 94 to the west of the Fargo area in Lamore County, southern Barnes County, also a little bit showing up there. This is not really adding up to much, but earlier in the day, there was a little bit more expansive snowfall in and around Minot and northwestern North Dakota. So if your travels take you anywhere outside of the Red River Valley, be sure to check out our website for the very latest. You can look at our webcam page and take a look at what the road conditions look like or you can get those latest road reports as well. 18 right now as cold Canadian air is on its way for Thanksgiving dinner. Be prepared. Temperatures closer to 30 to the south and east and Fargo right now. 29 at Hector. Winds are gusting from the north-northwest to almost 30 miles per hour, so it's certainly wind chilly. It feels like 12 in Grand Forks right now. The air temperature 26 degrees. North winds bringing that cold air southward as we go through the evening. We'll see the teens and 20s really infiltrate the entire region. Can't rule out a spotty flake of snow or two and it does look like any mixed precipitation will be a thing of the past as we're cold enough for all snow. Rise and shine temperatures in the teens. Mighty chilly. Roseau all the way out towards Rock Lake and as we head south we'll be closer to 20 here in the FM area to start your Thanksgiving Day morning. If you have travel plans notice nothing too bad out in our neck of the woods but let's take a look at the bigger picture. If you are heading southbound on I-29 you're going to run into the snow. This is first thing in the morning on your Thanksgiving Day. Do you see the pink? That's freezing rain. Now, as we go through our Thanksgiving Day, watch this move into southern Minnesota and also northern Iowa. So some areas of moderate to heavy snowfall taking place. Huh? This moves into the Twin Cities here right around midday, although the heaviest of the activity will stay south of the metro the way it's looking right now. For us, we're pretty quiet with hit and miss flurries throughout the day, and it's just going to be cold and windy outside. Yeah, nothing better than sitting inside and watching Valley News Live throughout the day to keep updated with the weather for your travels home. Thursday night on Thanksgiving night, we will still see snow and still see freezing drizzle across Iowa with rain moving in towards Chicago and snow in northern Wisconsin. Now, as we take a look, best chance of accumulating snow will be basically southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and Nebraska, where we could see several inches of snow. And here is accumulating ice, more than a quarter of an inch in spots. So, again, Regional travel will be affected. Also, if you're flying into places like Wyoming or the Rockies of Colorado, there'll be some snow impacting travel there. But for Fargo, 20 to start your day. It's just going to be a blustery, windy day outdoors with winds from the north, gusty at times, temperatures peaking only in the mid-20s throughout the afternoon hours, and 100% chance of leftovers as you head into the evening, and that's pretty good. Smooth sailing across the region, as smooth as pumpkin pie. Temperatures in the teens and low 20s, maybe some mid-20s to upper 20s south. Planning forecast for your Black Friday. It will be cold. We'll have several areas in the valley, especially north in the single digits, to start out Black Friday. But the warming trend takes hold right away. Temperatures reaching back to almost freezing on our Black Friday. The weekend will bring temperatures very close to 40 in the southern valley. Up north, I anticipate temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s. Your next chance of any precipitation doesn't look too heavy. As we head into next week, we'll have a slight chance on Monday. And it does look like we can bring the turkey with us wherever we go. There, he's got a suitcase and is ready to travel. We want you to uh, have a safe, safe uh, yeah. holiday weekend, yeah. no matter where your travels take you. And again, log on to valleynewslive.com. The weather page has road reports, yes. weather information. Because even if you're uh, traveling just a few miles out of town, things could yes, get a little dicey. They can. All right, thanks, Hutch. You're welcome. Well, it's a spectacular kickoff to the holiday season. And this year, two local students will be marching to the beat of the Macy's Parade. That is coming up.